Yes, I know I'm a man, baby. Yes, I know this series is not meant for me. We are talking about this week's episode of Ahsoka, episode 5. And before we go ahead, I would like to remind you that there will be spoilers ahead since I am doing a review of this. I did not really enjoy it. Was yet much better than the one that we got this week. So, without further ado, let's get into why I did not enjoy this week's episode. So, leaving off where we were last week, the sphere was destroyed. So, basically, this is the map. So, there is no way for us to follow them, or so we thought, because by the end of the episode, we will find a way. What? So, here's Hera with her son, who is force sensitive since his father was a Jedi. Therefore, Let's move on because they, Hera's here trying to find Ahsoka, trying to find Sabine, and trying to find what is going on exactly. So she catches up with the droid here who has the helmet of Sabine, the Mandalorian helmet. No signs of Ahsoka, no signs of Sabine. We don't know what is going on. Then we go to where the show left off last week, where apparently Anakin and Ahsoka are in the worlds between worlds. Turns out that it might not actually be this. It Ahsoka is dreaming. More Jedi training. And as a last Jedi lesson from Anakin to Ahsoka... The lesson today is live or die. Being trained in the ways of being a, keys, a peacekeeper, he is training her to become a warrior. And growing up, Ahsoka did not want to be a warrior. Then we cut back against to some more scenes that this little dude who is force sensitive can feel the lightsaber battle between Ahsoka's dream fight with Anakin. And somehow his force sensitiveness, he can share it with his mother and she can feel the lightsaber battle, which once again makes really no sense. But okay, I will play along with this one. So here we get into some flashbacks of Ahsoka when she was younger. And to be fair and honest, this young Ahsoka fights so much better than a 50-year-old stunt actor that plays Rosario Dawson. They need to get a really better stunt actor, coordinator, whatnot. year old Ahsoka fights very sloppy compared to this little one here and through these flashbacks uh, she goes through what she went through back in the days and she also explains to a point where she gotten where Anakin was no longer part of her life and now we head back to Hera which is still looking for Ahsoka knowing that there was a battle of lightsabers they know that Ahsoka is somewhere they're looking over the waters Trying to find Ahsoka. So after Ahsoka's waking dream, or I don't know what you want to call it, gently thrown in back into the waters. And here we can just determine that she's been underwater for quite some time. So I just discovered that her species can lay hours, if not a day, submerge, not needing oxygen. I don't know if she was meditating or if it was a dream. It's not really explained in this episode. But they rescue Ahsoka and when she wakes up they have questions for her. They want to know where is Sabine. Does she know what happened to Sabine? And somehow Ahsoka is able to take the broken sphere and feel once more what has transcended after she fell off the cliff. So she takes a sphere and feels that finally 
Sabine decided to give the sphere in order to go and save Ezra, which is not good news. She's not happy about that. And therefore, without revealing it, she proceeds to tell Hera that, you know, saving Sabine might not be as easy as we might think it is because basically she's a willing participant in all of this she's not a hostage so she might not want to be saved because she wants to go and save Ezra next we see Ahsoka seeing the space whales in the sky and gets the idea which is the only good part of this show that I really enjoyed Basically, Ahsoka is going to attempt to communicate with the space whale, hoping that they can enter the space whale and that the space whale will go to that other galaxy and take them along with them so that they can find Sabine. And so Ahsoka uses the force and communicates with the space whale and... They proceed to enter the space whale, which is really a fantastic idea. I have to admit it. I really, this is like the only part of the show that I enjoyed. Unfortunately, I've been watching like over 45 minutes of the show that I did not need to watch. And so with Ahsoka inside the big whale, space whale, I don't know what you want to call them. They do have a name. I just don't remember it. They proceed to fly into space and engage their whatever transwarp, uh, trans galaxy drive, and off they go. And we will find out next week what ensues. Are they going to find Sabine? I'm guessing they are. What's going to happen? I'm guessing Sabine doesn't want to be safe. But that's just my theory. Let me know what yours are. And I will see you in the next one.